The console gaming versus PC gaming debate is one that has been surging for years and years and it's probably never going to stop. The PC has for a long time been seen as the technically superior platform, but with the newer and more powerful consoles like the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro, the line is becoming a tad bit more blurred as to which one actually has the upper hand when all things are considered. But what is really the difference between the platforms? What is up guys, Jimmy or Chaos, Welcome to Chaos Top 10s, and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the main differences between console gaming and PC gaming, and I want to know in the comment section, we're not going to steer away from this or shy away, are you pro PC or are you pro console? Let the war begin. Kicking off our list at number 10 is easy. It's graphics. This is the most obvious and talked about difference between consoles and PC by far. When a game is developed or ported to a console, it is locked at a certain display quality due to the restrictions of that said console or that system. The PC, on the other hand, gives you a lot more freedom over how you want to see your game, be it with the shadows, the texture quality, the draw distances, anti-aliasing, G-Sync, so on and so forth. There's, there's a lot of different options. People often talk about how great PC games can look, but they also forget about the other side of the spectrum. Because PC games generally have more options with the visuals, it also allows lower-end PCs to run newer games by turning the visuals down from the default in order for a smoother gaming experience. These are options that the console just doesn't have because of the way that console games are made and the way the hardware looks. So, probably leaning pretty hard on the PC side on the graphics topic. At number 9, players. This is a bit of a generalization, but for the most part, I think it's pretty true. Generally speaking, PC players tend to be a little more serious than console players due to a lack of casual players in most multiplayer games on PC. When someone is a casual gamer, chances are they probably have a console and they picked it up from GameStop or Target or wherever it is they got it. Now, not very many casual gamers go out and drop hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars on a mid to high level gaming PC. And because of this, the multiplayer communities of PC games tend to take the game a little more seriously than that of the console multiplayer games because of the simple difference between the amount of casual players present on each platform. Now, are there casual PC players? Of course, and are there hardcore console players? Absolutely, but the amount of casual and hardcore players on each platform is where the real difference is. Because like I said, if a casual gamer is looking for somebody to play on, chances are they're probably going to get a console over an expensive gaming PC. Speaking of expensive, let's talk about pricing at number 8. You hear it a lot that PC gaming is so much more expensive than console gaming, but really, that's not entirely true. The difference between the PC and the console pricing is less of a more money versus less money matter and more of a gradual money versus immediate money matter on their own. A console will never be as expensive as a decent gaming PC, but when you look at the long term, that gaming PC will last longer and stay relevant longer than that console will due to the fact that the stronger hardware will always take longer to become outdated and it can be easily upgraded once it finally needs to be replaced. Consoles on the other hand, are kind of an all or nothing type matter. If something in your console breaks, you need to get a new one. If the new gen of consoles comes out, you need to get a new one. So while a PC will cost you more money immediately up front, the prices of PC gaming and console gaming are pretty even if you look at it over the long term. This month's giveaway is for a new PlayStation 4 console. All you have to do to enter is drop a like on this video, be subscribed to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. And in the comment section, let me know why you want to win the PS4 and include your Twitter handle so I can contact you if you're the winner. The winner will be announced at the end of the month. At number seven, loading times. Because of the way PC games are optimized compared to console games, it leads to much quicker loading times. Now obviously, this depends on how good your PC is or how new your console is, and obviously your games won't load faster on a PC just because it's a PC. But generally speaking, the PC loads things much quicker than a console does because of the freedom of visual quality that the PC has and the console doesn't. Not much to say about this one other than what we said, it's just honestly the way it is. At number six, let's talk about frame rates. The standard for console games nowadays is about 60 frames per second, but with PC, 
it's a little bit different. In fact, 60 frames per second is more of a minimum than a standard on the PC. Because of the higher capabilities of the PC as a gaming platform, it's capable of running games at a much higher frame rate than a console is. Sometimes upwards of 200 to 300 FPS if you have the right hardware and you know what you're doing with the game's visual setting. However, a console won't go above 60 frames per second and a lot of the times it won't even maintain a consistent 60. So PC games will largely feel smoother than console games. Cracking into the top five today, let's talk about game speed. This is another generalization, but it's it's pretty true. Generally speaking, the speed of multiplayer games on PC is faster than consoles. When I say game speed, what I'm actually talking about is the literal speed in which the players play the game. When you compare people playing a game on console compared to people playing it on PC, it is very obvious that PC players move much quicker and much sharper. And this is very obvious when you're comparing two-player game bases like Fortnite. So why is it? Well... The things I've said about the casual versus hardcore player bases on PC is part of it, but it also has to do with the mouse and the keyboard as opposed to the controller. And I'm not going to tell you which of these two things you are supposed to be more like, but in terms of pure objective facts, the keyboard and the mouse are capable of much more freedom and precision than a controller is, which leads to a PC game moving quicker than a console game. And it's also the reason why you can pretty easily tell the difference between a PC player and a console player just by watching gameplay. The mouse allows much more fluid camera movement, while the keyboard allows the player to do more things at once than a controller due to the extra buttons available to the user. This is why. When you watch console Fortnite players compared to PC Fortnite players, the PC player will be building like crazy, while the console player is a little slower and a little more conservative. It's simply easier for a PC player to play like that than it is for a console person. At number four, backwards compatibility. Now this is a feature that a lot of console players wish they had because for some reason, it's seemingly been forgotten over the last few years. The PC, on the other hand, never has to worry about backwards compatibility because just about every PC is backwards compatible with just about every PC game to ever exist. Now, because PC games are built with much more lenient specs than console games are, it makes them much more accessible in the future for both old and new computers. It doesn't really matter how old the game is, chances are it will probably run on a PC. Plus, you also have all the emulators on the PC that allow you to play those older console games that you wish your new consoles would still run. At number three, online play. This is another point of debate that a lot of PC and console players like to talk about. While both platforms are obviously capable of online play, the PC runs things very differently. For console games, you pay a flat fee like an Xbox Live or a PSN, and then you have access to all of the games, or none of them if the servers are down for whatever reason. The PC, on the other hand, has no subscription fees unless it's an MMO, and the games do not run through universal servers. So instead, each multiplayer PC game has its own individual servers, which is why there are never any large-scale multiplayer blackouts like there sometimes are on Xbox and PlayStation. But because each PC handles their own servers individually, instead of letting another company handle them like a console game does, it can sometimes lead to the smaller games having below average connection because the devs can't handle the servers the way the bigger companies do. So I'll, I'll leave it up to you. The choice is yours. In online play, do you prefer console or PC? At number two, cheating. This is a big one. Because of how much more accessible a PC is than a console, it leads to a much bigger cheating problem. While PC gaming doesn't have as nearly a big a cheating problem as people make it out to have, it is still significantly worse than it is on current consoles. When you have direct access to the game files, it makes the game much easier to exploit and alter to your favor while you're on a console. It's much harder to actually get third-party software into your system in order to cheat. Now, much like what I said about online play, this is more of a case-by-case -case issue because there will always be more cheaters on PC than there are on console and the number of cheaters you can actually run into depends on the game you're playing and how capable the devs are of patching the game up and keeping things clean. And finally at number one today, mobility. This is the one thing generally speaking that consoles probably have the upper hand on and most people would agree or unless you have a really high powered gaming laptop. When you build a gaming PC, we're talking about a desktop here, okay? It's usually pretty big and you don't really want to move it around much. Consoles, on the other hand, are much smaller and more compact and they are getting smaller and smaller as we go on, which allows you to move them around easier. Plus, there is a whole laundry list of handheld consoles like the PS Vita and 5 million different versions of the Nintendo DS. If you're someone who just wants to have a system that will stay in one place, a PC won't bother you at all. But 
If you are someone who is going to be on the move quite a bit, maybe a console would cater a little more to your needs. Once again, it's a case-by-case -case thing and it's all subjective, so I want to know from you. Is mobility a big issue for you? Are you a person that travels a lot or are you a homebody that stays in your office or in your gaming room? And there you have it, my friends. Those are 10 of the main differences between consoles and PC gaming. This war will wage on until the end of ages for sure, but it's fun to talk about it. It's fun to debate. So you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. As always, there is a playlist below with all the other gaming top 10s that go up. Thank you for all the support, guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed on the way out, and I'll see you soon.